So I wanted to thank Carol, who very kindly suggested, maybe I eat less. And in all my 68 years, it hadn't occurred to me to eat less. Thank you, Carol. Less than this, which was my first meal yesterday, which is a bit of pork, some butternut squash, cauliflower cheese. First meal after 18 hours. Or less than this, which was my last meal, six hours later, before an 18 hour fast. Should I have left off some prawns? Should I have left off some lettuce? <clears throat> or this, which we've just had after an 18 hour fast. Thanks, Carol. <sighs> amazing, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? After all these years, it didn't occur to me to eat less. You'd think, wouldn't you? And I'm not meant to be responding. I'm not meant to be responding, but I am, because it's just going round and round and round in my head. Three little words. The words that over the years I have heard in various um, formats, eat less, or um, you shouldn't eat that, or all of that stuff over the years. <clears throat> and it always amazes me that people feel that they know you. It always amazes me that people make assumptions that you're eating too much because you're this size. Um, I, w I can remember being very um, surprised when a really good friend of mine offered to send me one of those plates that's got the food groups on it. I just thought, what the fuck? It was so condescending. And she was a good friend. It really shocked me that somebody would think that I needed that sort of information or somebody just thought that I... I didn't know this stuff, that I don't look in the mirror, that I don't see myself and that there's something I haven't worked out in all these years about weight. And um, and those of you that know me know that I'm doing what I can. Those of you that know me know that it's been hard and difficult all the time, even before steroids. I've been a beast on and off since I was 12. I was saying to Etienne this morning, we were there having a coffee, I'd deliver some eggs. And I was saying to Etienne, because he doesn't take sugar, I'm talking about sugar. And um, I said to him, I stopped taking sugar in tea and coffee when I was 11. Um, so that's when I first started fighting obesity. And it's not as simple as eat less. It really isn't. If it were that simple, there wouldn't be any fat people. If being thinner, was a simple process of switching off something or turning on something, we'd all be slim, but we're not. And it's much, much more complex than that. Um, so yeah, what else happened? Wait, so we, oh, sorry, I'm making this move. We, um, we went shopping for some of the food I needed to make that last dish, which was Korean, it's Korean chicken with um, noodles, rice noodles that don't have gluten. Um, it's already pushed my blood sugar up um, because the sauce had honey and sugar in it. It's like absolutely mad. Um, and when we went to Etienne and Cleo's to deliver the eggs, somebody had left a present for us because we gave them the old iMac um, and they'd left a present and it's a box of chocolates. Luckily, I say luckily, I wouldn't have really indulged more than one or or two a day because I'm sort of off sugar and have been for three weeks, or mostly off sugar, not <clears throat> that sort of sugar, you know, when you know that you're eating it, not when it's been hidden in some fucking food. Um, but I, I went and I wouldn't have bothered. I put them out in the hall where it's cooler, but Mark went to fetch them after dinner um, and fetched them through. So I had one and it was... 
it, it just tasted sweet. It had no real taste to it. Um, and I said to him, I, so I went and got another one just to check. So I won't be eating them because they're just mush, really. Sweet, sickly mush, which I find um, quite often with some French artisan chocolates. It was a very kind gift. I'm not dismissing that. And they look lovely in a beautiful box. You know, you think you're getting a piece of jewellery or something, but actually they're not really very special. So I won't be eating those. <clears throat> So yeah, I must have more prawns, more less prawns on less lettuce tonight when I finish, finish up at six o'clock for the next 18 hours. I actually wasn't hungry today when I got home. We were ho late home. Obviously, we stopped there for coffee. We were late home for me to be able to have cooked by midday. Um, but I actually wasn't hungry and, and that surprises me after only having um, those prawns in, in lettuce um they're sort of their lettuce wraps um they were really lovely i didn't want any dressing on them i think that you i think they were in the something like that in the fast 800 um re repertoire but it probably had a dressing on it but i didn't really want a dressing i just put salt and pepper on them and they were nice and i'll probably have the same again tonight um but yeah i wasn't hungry even after just only having that so that's good there is cloud I did a cloud footage yesterday, but I'm not happy with it, so I deleted it. I um, think that the um, it was windy yesterday, and I think either the tripod was being buffered a bit by the wind, or the my phone was trying to focus on the moving branches that were at the bottom of the screen. So... I will probably go out and look for somewhere that's got some good view of clouds and put some weight on the tripod and try not to have it so that there are moving branches in front or in the lower part or nearer nearer the camera that it's trying to focus on. The other thing we're doing that sort of footage with um, when you're going into low light, which I was yesterday, is that the camera keeps compensating for the low light. So you see the camera keep giving more exposure to allow more light in to compensate for the, the the dying light so it's not ideal i was watching i was deciding trying to decide whether it would be better to have a gopro camera one because i'm leaving it out there for an hour or two on a tripod and sometimes i want my i keep looking there because that's where my phone normally is but it isn't it's here um yeah and during that two hours i might want my phone so i thought i'll have a look and see whether a GoPro will be better for what I'm doing. And um, I came across very quickly a YouTube vlogger who was showing the difference between an iPhone, a GoPro camera and a Canon SLR. And he'd set himself up on an overpass road over, well, what's it called? Lion Gate Bridge in Vancouver. And I thought, oh, I've been there. It was quite funny, really. I hardly remember it. We were so tired, but I knew I, we, we went across Lion Gate Bridge to go to uh, the mall um, to do a bit of shopping to try and find more suitable clothes for the, the weather when we were over there in May, which was way hotter than anticipated. So, yeah, we, we, we went across there in a taxi. So, anyway, I watched him and he talked about the... Um, the iPhone um, constantly compensating for the input, for the light input. And he said the GoPro, the, I don't think the GoPro did that. But you couldn't, with the iPhone, or with my phone, when I put it on um, time lapse, I have no control over the shutter speed or the speed of the, of the, of the lapses. Um, so you get what you get. And with a GoPro, I think there might be a little bit more choice. And obviously with an SLR camera, you've got a lot of choice. But I'm not going to go that far. <clears throat> Mark does have an SLR. I might try it with that one day if he lets me. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's me talking about clouds, which is on my other channel. Clouds at Cathy's. I hope you've checked it out and subscribed and liked. That would be nice. I know some of you have. Um...
Yeah, so that's it. That's that cooking over. I don't know. That's That was what I was going to do today. I don't know what I'm doing for tomorrow. I haven't planned it yet. Um, and it's now time for a siesta. Mark sat over there and he, he'd been watching telly whilst he was eating. And then he sat there and said, it must be nap time. And I went, I'm waiting to do a vlog. So I sent him out. Poor man. I'll let him come back in now. I said I'd only be 10 minutes then. Look, 10 minutes on and here we are. Anyway, I know I shouldn't have responded to that comment, which I have deleted, by the way. Um, but it was going over and over in my head and I just thought I need to let it out, really. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm working on how I'm going to eat less. Okay. Have a good Sunday.